Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Earthbound. And we are playing it right now. Okay, this part we are going to do some stuff. That's an enemy right there on the road. Okay, you're gonna go up here, over here. And over here, and these zombies should notice you and look at you. And after that, uh, you're gonna want to go back to the hotel. But yeah, because if you go back, when you go back to the hotel, something should happen. What, what the heck? Let me through. Whatever, let's go this way. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, there's some lady in there. Oh, she went inside. Dang it. If you talk to her, it'll say no problem. Oh my god, zombies! Aw, oh, she set us up, man. Uh-oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Brent and his friend? Okay. Oh, where are we? We're in some underground hole. And they conveniently wake up at the same exact time. Door's locked. Oh, no. I call not to you who I've never met. To you I've never met. I'm calling a friend who we've never met. Tom Tommy! Tommy, we need your help! I'm Paul and I'm with another friend, Brent. You're trying to contact you. Oh, oh, there's Chick I guess Tommy's coming into the picture now. Winter is a small country to the north. No wood boarding house. Uh, I'm Paula. I'm with another friend, Brent. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, face, wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Tommy. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Tommy, your friend we've never met. You are our one and only hope. We sleep in our lab coat, lol. I don't care what you say, Tony. Tony joined the party. Okay. There's no point for Tony except for him standing out like a gay boy. Yeah, you're gonna wanna go over here and use that key machine you just got from talking to that guy. Key to the locker. And go back to him after you use it on one of those and talk to him again. Haha, <laughs> that key didn't work, did it? Though I thought it might be the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. Tommy got the bad key machine. If you're Dr. Anderson, you should be able to repair small tools and make them very useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna wanna use the key on all, all these lockers. There's a home set. No, I don't wanna use the big bottle rocket. Nothing. There's yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing in like half the lockers. 
happen in that one? I think I think there's something in this one. I think there's like a broken gun. Oh no, it must be up in one of these ones. Pop gun. That's just first equipped. I think this is a broken magnum pistol. Okay. Wait, did I get this one or did I miss it? Uh oh. Okay, let's equip all that stuff we just got. Top gun. No, nothing else. Okay, we got the home set and all that stuff. Now you're gonna. No, you're gonna go out the door over here. And. Tony should be like. Oh, I'm gonna lay down so we can climb over the fence. We're best friends forever. Okay. Now, directly after that, you're gonna want to go into the shop. And unless you bought something for one cent, you should have enough. Okay, you got the pack of bubble gum. Looks like this was a bubble monkey. Bubble monkey joined the party. Okay, now keep going. Yeah, bubble monkey's a weird party member. Oh, whoops. Down over here. Spiteful Crowry there. Test out her gun on this guy. Apparently, he's pretty powerful at level 1, so yeah. He can be the powerfulest member if you have like 50 mi multi bottle rockets later on in the game. So, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Looks like there's another spiteful crow. Let's go check out this tent. And there, you can talk to those guys and get fully healed since we haven't taken any damage. I'm not gonna. Ah. I hate this place. This is like my worst place. What the hell? Oh, whatever. How about some stew? No, no, no need to pay me. After you do that, Paula will talk to you again. You can. He put. He made a defense spray can with a broken spray can. Okay. Now here we are. After that, if you see leaves blowing around. Pick your chicken, say anything before we actually have to say some of stuff. Okay, get ready for a new memory of the camera. Say fuzzy pickles, whatever. Okay, you're done. You're done with that now. Now you can fly away. Okay, so if there's leaves blowing, then if you walk over here, Bubble Monkey should do something. Trigger cutscene. There's Tessie. We're just gonna speed up this. Okay. 
Well, this is about it for this part. We're gonna have to stop right here. <clears throat> In the next part, we're gonna continue on winters and possibly finishing.